What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another What's Coming Thursday video. We do this every Wednesday to see what is going to be coming on the next day or two. And we've got really, I think honestly lads, eFootball 2025 is probably going to shift a lot of stuff, right? So if you have not got your penalties squared by now or you haven't scored all your penalties, you haven't been logging in, we're going to pop that away. You should realistically be able to get, as you see here, you should be able to get all the free players complete right so we've got our last worldwide daily game lap reward here which is as far as i know going to be jack wilshire because we've got every other player right so just to get confirmation on that you can see here that the only players that we don't have after this kick is jack wilshire and now we're going to get that there right there is still a couple of laps i missed a couple of weeks when i was getting married and i had you know uh, i wasn't here to log in every day so if you guys have not got that i think you'll probably have another maybe seven to 10 days to log in, right? And then that obviously goes into your inbox. So if you haven't got that there, you also have your login bonuses, that's gonna continue on. But realistically, I think we're not gonna see any massive, massive changes until eFootball 2025, or as it's gonna be known now, just simply eFootball. We will be getting a brand new summer transfer volume. That should come as well. So you'd be expecting Mbappe to come. You'd be expecting a couple of other kind of latest transfers. Probably Delict, probably those guys, if they've already got the assets done, you would probably expect the summer transfer volume number two. We also have another player of the week. We'll probably get a selection there as well because obviously the new season is starting this Friday. So Konami have kind of, you know, they've, they've still brought out a lot of club specific content when there's been no club campaigns going on. So um, it'd be interesting to see how well these player of the weeks have been doing and how well these highlight packs will be doing. In terms of this back in the game uh, and J-League, that's probably going to bring us up to eFootball 2025. And that kind of is the date that I had in my head as well. Probably like the 12th of September, that kind of tracks with the match pass, the eFootball phase, and of course now with the nominating contracts. In this, as you see here, we have every other player got. So the last player that we have to get here is Jack Wilshire, and that gonna, is going to complete our free spins from all this pack. So we got Costa Corta, Maradona, Cristiano Ronaldo. We, uh, we got all of these players, and now we're going to get Jack Wilshire here as well. Um, and Wilshire is actually a really decent player, lads. He's definitely one of the most underrated attacking midfielders in the game, I think, compared to, you know, obviously you have the likes of Platini, you have the likes of Baggio, the likes of Griezmann, the likes of Musiala, uh, Kaka, Ronaldinho. All of these guys will be bigger names. But 33 levels with Wilshire, he is an absolute beast. Um, I really love playing with him, especially on my road to glory. In terms of everything else, we do know that we are going to be getting these brand new epics as well. Now, I'm going to show you, right? These are the unreleased epics that we have so far. Obviously, you can take out Perez and Makalele. They're, they're actually out now. But Rijkaard van Basten, Hullet, uh, Raul, Xavi, uh, Czech is there as well. There's a lot of these players. I think a lot of people are expecting these to drop um, when they'll drop, I don't know whether they'll tie it in. I genuinely think that with eFootball 2025, they're going to change how they actually release these. I'm still predicting that they'll have some sort of like trade feature or some sort of marketplace where, yes, you can still sign players for coins, but also that you'll be able to sign players at a more regular rate. Now, I'm going to do a video on this and what that could potentially mean. But essentially, it will kind of be, you know, EAFC-ish or FIFA-ish, where you'll be able to constantly not have to just wait for a week-to-week -week basis. You'll be able to buy what players you want at a certain limit, and it'll rotate and stuff like that. I'll do a video on it. We will talk about it in the live stream as well tomorrow. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think it's going to be just pretty much more of the same. Obviously, summer transfers as well. Also, just a quick one as well. I know that the boys are working on a V1 for the 24-25 season. Let me know if you guys would be interested in some content for that. It's just a little quick uh, segue there. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a bit of content for that. Uh, maybe a bit of a playthrough with a new team or whatever. I know it's PES 2021, but I don't see, you know, an offline career mode coming in this, uh, you know, anytime soon. Hopefully we're surprised in a couple of weeks time or in a couple of months time. But yeah, other than that, man, it's it's going to be all about, I think, when we do get news. Now, I want to talk about Gamescom because Konami will have a presence at Gamescom. The list of exhibitors continues to grow. Many companies have already announced their participation in the next few weeks, in the past few weeks under social media, including many exhibitors who have been regulars at Gamescom. And you can see here all the list of... of, of uh, all the list of everybody, Take Two, Team 17, the Pokemon Company, Ubisoft, Xbox, Sony, uh, EAFC, obviously is going to be there with EA, uh, EA uh, Sports, Bandai Namco, um, and of course you have 2K and Konami there as well. So it's going to be interesting to see 
is this going to be eFootball related? I honestly feel like that we will get news within the next week. Like, as in, you know, starting tomorrow. If we don't get news tomorrow about eFootball 2025's plan, I definitely think we'll get it tied into Gamescom. It kind of makes sense. They always seem to announce stuff around Gamescom. Maybe that's what they have kind of penciled in in their calendars. And I think UFL launching on the 5th of September, I don't think that that's going to change too much with Konami's kind of launch pad because in fairness they're in the perfect situation that you know ufl can come out the only people that are going to be trying ufl are people that are really interested in trying a new football game and are going to be able to willing to pay 15 quid whereas you know konami can just sit back and say okay let's go we've got a week here now and then we can drop so if ufl doesn't bang on launch um obviously you know we have to give it time as well but if ufl doesn't bang on launch a lot of people that are used to playing e uh e-football are just going to go wait a week and then you know come back out and then ufl is going to be going wide public release and competing straight away with konami uh with e-football so let me know what you guys think lads obviously we're into kind of uncharted waters as i said um it is kind of risk and rinse and repeat and i do feel like that we're not going to get i keep saying this you know for the for the purposes of the video i think the 12th of september has been a date that's I, I think I think that's the date that should be in everybody's mind. You know, I think that is kind of like what makes more sense. Um, because it kind of ties up with everything. It ties up with mid-September, it ties up with the autumn release, it ties in, it ties in with it ties in with the match pass and the e-football phase, it ties in with a lot of stuff that they're going to be coming over with. And as I said, we will go over a lot of stuff in the live stream tomorrow as we, you know, kind of go through a few bits and pieces and talk about a few bits and pieces for eFootball 25. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, we're just kind of waiting to see what the crack is. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, I think. Um, and hopefully, you know, there is a bit of news soon. So yeah, I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the live stream. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 50k, baby. So I hope you guys come along for a, the journey. And we have lots of stuff planned for the new season. But yeah, we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.